Hey guys, it's Opusiva here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today guys, I am back with episode 8 of Sim 3 Tips where I show you everything you need to know about The Sims 3. And today guys, I am going to be showing you how I deal with my CC, uh, how I turn the .sim3 packs into package files and then merge them because this could be a very interesting topic and may even save your life one day as it can actually speed up your game and I use this personally I've talked about it before and it is a very good tip for anyone who wants to really speed up their game wants to clean up their game make it very fast uh, I showed you how to speed up your game back in episode 4 and I showed you how to install uh, modern CC normally in episode 3 but today this is really only going to be for CC I'm not too sure if it works with mods I haven't tested it with mods but I'm going to show you how to turn those dots and three packs into packages and then uh, merge them uh, which I'm going to be showing you a little later on so if you don't want to see this part of the tutorial you can go on to later on so I went CC shopping today guys um, and actually before we begin there shouldn't be a video this week and don't ask me why I have Kristen Costa up on my desktop don't ask me anyway um, here's all the CC I've downloaded quite a lot and, um, and a lot of these are you know zipped so before we do that we i've created a folder here for just temporarily for the cc and the very first thing we're going to do is make zip unzipped cc this is the first thing i'm going to do because just to help myself out and what we're going to go ahead and do with this unzipped this zipped cc is we're going to go ahead and unzip them at, and we're going to put them in a different file location just to make this a little easier meaning then uh, i can then sort out all my other cc uh, sorry if you can hear anything. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to just go ahead and um, see. You, you want to go extract files and you want to go ahead and go to wherever you have the folder. For me, I just have a desktop here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to unzip CC. So that's then, that's unzipped then. Now you may see a couple of things. You want to say yes to all, okay? Just note that. Um, all right. Sometimes that will happen. And then you can go ahead and delete that and then we'll go over to that folder now and see what we have. So, we're just gonna go into unzip CC and you can see everything is here. Now there's a couple of information files. We're not gonna worry about them um, that much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create another folder for today's tutorial. And this is gonna be for what I'm gonna show you now in a minute, showing you how to uh, pretty much change those Sims 3 packs into dot package files. So we're gonna make two folders here. The first one is going to be called um, Sim3 Packs. Sim3 Packs. And then the next one we're going to be calling is Sim3 Packages. This will make um, this will make your life easier. Okay, so you can see I've made two new folders here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and put in some of this stuff into Sim3 Packs. As you can see, some of these are dots and free packs. Some of them are package files. We don't need to worry about them right now. Uh, we'll get onto them once these guys are sorted out. But we're going to go ahead and put these in here. And we're going to go ahead. Oops, sorry. Oh, we're going to go ahead and select them. I don't know what I did there. Uh, that was my mistake. Uh, but you are going to need a program for this. I don't know why. I don't have anything prepared for this video, okay? But you will need a program, which I'll get onto in a minute. But we're just going to go ahead and go into dots and free packs here. We're gonna put them in just to make this easier, and I will get on to why now in a minute. Uh, and then also, you can see there's some stuff in our downloads folder. Oh, there's a couple of unzipped things. I think that's because I downloaded two, I didn't notice I did, but okay. Alrighty, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and select everything else here that is in dots and three packs, and I will get on to why. Um, I know I shouldn't actually have a video up this weekend, by the way. Um, I'm supposed to be in England right now when this is going up. Oh, that, that was my mistake. I was supposed to be in England right now uh, for a couple of week holiday, well, a couple of day holiday for the May Bank holiday. However, um, um, I was not supposed to make a video, but then I decided to go CC shopping. And I may as well show you how I do it. I know this is a little messy, and I don't know how many likes this video will get. Uh, but there we go. Okay, so that's all the CC that, just to show you guys, that is the Dot Sims we pack. So what you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and cut and put them into that same folder I've told you about earlier. We may have to put this somewhere depending uh, when we get onto the thing. So we're just going to go into dots and three packs and put them in. 
And then I'm going to go into Salt and Sweet Packages and we're going to go ahead and copy everything else. Um, you can see there's a couple of them here. Um, there are packages. There will be a couple, guys. Don't don't worry if that happens. We're just going to go cut. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in here to Salt and Sweet Packages. And then I'm going to go ahead and put everything from the downloads here. There's two of them. So, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put all of those in. Go ahead and go back here to our, uh, oh, I actually had a downloads folder open. But yeah, we'll go back in here and go into, uh, back into that uh, desktop here. We'll, yeah, sorry me. Uh, and put them in uh, to Dots and packages. So once that's all sorted, we can go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to what I do next. So I will be back then. Okay, guys, uh, I am back um, and uh, I am on Mod The Sims, you can see, because we're going to need a little, well, we're going to need a couple of things, but we're going to need one thing from Mod The Sims and then another thing which I'll get onto then in a minute. But the first thing we're really going to need is Delphi Sensory Multi-Pack Extractor. Now, this, what we'll, this will do is we'll turn all those Sensory packs we just downloaded earlier, uh, which I downloaded just off screen, by the way. And we're gonna turn the gonna turn them into dot packages files, which I need them to be to do the next step. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and download this. So I'm not explaining this the best. I know maybe it isn't the best tutorial I've ever made. But we're gonna go ahead and download it now. I already have it, but you just go ahead and extract it like any other file. So yeah, but I already have it, so I'm not gonna mess around with that. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go into my version of it uh, and go into um i think it's in utilities yes i do multi-pack installer so we'll go ahead and run it i have mine here open and what we need to go ahead and do is we need to go to that folder that i told you about now it may not show up desktop i don't know why okay it will okay so you can see there's our cc downloaded here and oh there's a comment here i'm gonna read that later sorry um okay sometimes you get comments i don't know why i have that enabled by the way anyway what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go into dots and well the Dotson packs folder and open that there and then what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and convert them to the Dotson free packages folder I told you about so there so you want to go ahead and select those two and then what you want to go ahead and it will say um only don't worry about this we're just going to do it anyway we're just going to click extract now this will take a sec and it's going to take its process it's going to take a sign it may take a minute or two it's finished so you can see so yeah just to show you now um this worked uh, once you have that done and you want to go in here and you want to go into that and free packages folder and look at that that's all the packages it's in this file so um we're going to get on to the next process which is going to require s3pe um i use this personally i will have a link in the description guys and this is going to be needed to merge all our cc uh you can do quite a lot with s3pe um there's so much you could do uh, I think you, if I remember, I can't remember where you downloaded from. I, yeah, there you go. You download it here. Um, I will have it install. Well, I'll have a link in the description if you want to go ahead. But it's going to be needed to extract those files. Um, but once you have that downloaded and installed, uh, you can move on, which we're going to do now. So what you want to go ahead and do now, once you have S3P installed, is you want to go ahead and look up S3P. Okay, if you haven't installed, of course. And you'll see this program come up. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is do file new and then from here you want to go right click and you want to go import now it has changed over the time but it is this thing as uh, dbc this thing okay all right promise me guys i am doing everything correctly okay i promise you this is not a virus okay uh and what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and go into dot sensory package here uh where all our cc uh, sensory packages are we're going to select them all we're going to open and then what you want to go ahead and do, I recommend going out of the folder and making a new and calling this CC whatever you like. So I'm just going to call it CC uh, APRIL 2016. I'm oh, sorry, 17. Uh, because it's 2017, uh, April 10, 2017, currently when I'm recording this video. So we're just going to go ahead and do that and then do that. Now this process will take maybe 10 minutes depending on the amount of CC you've downloaded. But I'll trust you guys, you are going to get the best FPS possible. I use this process personally. And um, I, I really recommend it for any simmers out there who plans to install lots of CC, but does not want to slow down their game. I have done this before. 
uh like stop and I'm, I'm a very like i have a good computer like it has eight gigabytes of ram in there and it has like it's a decent build and it's just good very good to run this in free uh it's actually an alienware x51 r2 by the way uh but the problem was when i did have that cc in there it just really slowed down my game and i wasn't really enjoying it so i did actually remove the cc for quite a while and then in october 2016 when i remembered this method of installing i saw once or twice and i said okay do you know what i'm gonna give this method a try and see if it works and you know what it does work now the only annoying thing i've really had of it uh is whenever you have any like if you put accidentally a thing in it uh what is it called again uh a duplicate that you have in another cc file and then it just shows a conflict and you're just so annoyed and you don't know what one it is um uh, you have to go in there and see. Uh, it's very hard sometimes, um, but once you have the CC backed up in your computer, it isn't bad, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, well, actually, while well, it's doing it, let's back up our CC, shall we? Um, yeah, I know. If I can get to my desktop, of course, if I do control in here, if it possibly will respond, it won't respond. So we're just gonna have to go into documents here. Uh, it will take a second, we'll be a little slow because it's doing that thing we told you about. I just want to go ahead and do. I I I think maybe as well you should back these up. So do cop well cut maybe well do copy for now and we'll delete them later. And then what we're gonna while well, that's doing that and then we're gonna go into Sims, uh, utilities and saves and we're gonna go ahead and go into wherever you're gonna back this up. For me, I actually have room on my computer. I have lots of room, so I'm just gonna go into backup CC and I've sorted everything out here. Um, and we're just gonna go from April 2017 here. And then that will do its job. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go off screen until this finishes. And then uh, I'll show you that the package does exist. So, I will be back to you guys then. Okay, so it's actually finished now. Uh, sorry, I actually closed the program. But here is the file that we created here. Um, it's actually 382 megabytes, you can see. They are big, these files. But, however, on the upside, so I'm going to show you, it does really speed up your game. So, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're gonna go ahead and cut that and um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go into our documents electronic arts the sims 3 mods packages now you can play paste it there if you really like to but what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just put it in my cc folder just to sort everything out here i do have some stuff that are, are in um actually separate files but otherwise everything else in this folder are all in various files so what we're going to go ahead and do now is i'm just going to clean up my sim3 folder here just to speed up your game and i promise you guys i will promise you this is going to really work and i am going to load up my game here for just a good example and then i'm going to go to ks and show you i know if you if you really want to skip this part guys uh go ahead and uh just go down into the description or into the comment section where you can skip to uh, but we're going to go ahead and empty that recycling bin there. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to click the free icon and just wait. And it should only take a minute to load here. Um, mine's actually the origin edition, so it actually has to go to the launcher either way. And we can actually delete that folder if you really like to, which I'm going to do once this tutorial is over. I'm just keeping it as a good example. So here we go. It's loading. It's loading. Uh, there's about 70 items I've put in this CC. It will take a minute just at first, but once you get into game, I promise you guys, the performance boost you're going to see is amazing. So we're just going to go out. Well, actually, I think there's more than 70 pieces of CC. Uh, there's a couple of things that they're selling here. Don't worry about that. Uh, I don't believe like the Sim Free store is still up there these days. Uh, I know like the game is eight years old already. It's nearly eight years old. It's just so crazy. No one thought it would be eight years old already. But let's go ahead and load our game here. And I'll show you all the CC I've just installed. Um, and once we get into the game, just to show you guys that the loading times I'm promising you are pretty fast. Um, now, when creating a new world, uh, it will take a minute. So that's why I'm just going to go into a light world. So this is Castaway Island or something like that. Or the Island of the Midnight Sun. Just to show you that this is working it will take a sec you can see uh maybe i should actually disable my desktop I, I i think i should do that now once this loads okay so i'm just going to save my desktop here uh, sorry if this looks weird for a sec okay uh display and there we go you can see it's all loading now uh hopefully 
uh, shouldn't be crashing at least. Yeah, you can see it's loading. It will take a little sec to pick up the first two or three times, but once, maybe after three or four times, it will get quicker to load, I've noticed. So yeah, here we go. It's actually loading pretty okay. It is taking its time. Don't worry, it will take a little slower, but I promise you guys, it's better than nothing. Uh, once we get into game here, it is just taking its time. But here we go. Once it gets to here, it will speed up. Um, it's pretty much finished loading. Here we go. Um, uh, we're going to go into game. It does take its time. Don't worry. It takes about a minute or so. But once it, you're past this menu, you know, you're, you're really going to feel the performance. And you should be able to see it now uh, once we get here into game. You see, uh, if you maybe able to see it there, uh, there is CC, a lot of CC files here. If, um, but you may be able to see the one I've installed, uh, if possible. I don't know if you will be able to see them. Um, I think you may be able to see them, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is installed if you can see it there. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into my current household and I will save and I'll show you, oh well, actually... I'm not going to go into my current household because there's no teenager. So instead, I am going to go into a world on um, Isle of the Midnight, sorry, in Castaway Island, and show you all the CC I've installed. So I'll be back to you guys now in a minute. Okay, guys, I am now in KES, and I am going to show you everything I've installed for you guys. There's actually quite a lot I've installed. I think I've installed about 100 pieces of CC. Mostly female stuff. I uh, have a couple, like, a mix of things. It will take a sec here, but... Uh, you can see there's a lot of hairs, like this one's new, uh, I've installed, there's a lot of new hairs guys, I've installed this, this is brand new, um, you may have seen my game before, this is actually brand new, I know it doesn't look the nicest right now, uh, we have this one, this one, with this one, yeah this one, I had this one already, um, what else is brand new, uh, do I see any new CC hair, uh, here's a new one here, I believe, yeah, see, all these are brand new, I know it doesn't look nice with the black hair. Once we, you know, you dye it, it looks really nice. Anyway, we have this one. This one's from like Crawler, not nothing bad. Uh, we have this one. Some of these guys I have installed. Uh, mainly it's female hair. I've had those two already. Oh, actually, is this brand new? Yeah, this one's brand new. Okay, that one's brand new. Uh, what else is brand new? I think all three of these I've had before. I have this one now, and I have this one. You can see there's quite a lot. Uh, some of these I've had already. I think this is brand new. No, I think this, in, this one isn't brand new. Uh, we have this one. I think this one's brand new. Okay, that one's brand new. Uh, this one's brand new. I think this one's brand new. There's a couple of them similar. Yeah, this one's definitely brand new. There's two very similar hairs I have, but they're different altogether. Uh, this one's new, I think. Uh, a lot of these are new, okay? This one, let me check. This one, I think I've had this one already. A lot of them are new, okay? Let's just say that. Uh, this one's new. Uh, I know it doesn't have the hair bands, but we do have the ha I do have the hair band here in KS. Uh, if we go with accessories here. Um, once this loads, of course, um, uh, it does take a sec to load, but it, you know, it, it's better than nothing at least. There we go. There's that hair band I was talking about. So there we go, that's the one that came with that hair. We had lots. Uh, also, I just want to show you, I've installed some male hair. Um, I've installed quite a lot. Uh, this one's not new. I've had this one for a little bit now. Um, it does come with a hairband, which unfortunately, uh, well, I do have it installed. It's just somewhere else. Uh, I think it's down here somewhere, there's new hairs I've installed. Uh, I'm not too sure which ones they are, because they're, some, they're so similar. Um, I think this one, this, maybe this one? No, this one's definitely not. This one's definitely new, this one right here. This one's one of the new ones I've installed, and I've installed one more, I think, if I could see it now. This one is the other one I've installed. Uh, it looks similar to one of my other hairs, um, but it's a little different. Um, I also installed some teenage wear as well, just to show you here. I've installed quite a lot, okay? I just have to say. Uh, here's one of the jackets here. Uh, that's brand new. I installed that today. Um, if we just go ahead and sort by CC, I could just show you here. Um, because I don't have too much male CC. Um... All right, if we load here, um, we're just going to go ahead. Yeah, guys, if you know any other sites you could download CC from, uh, I've only really downloaded CC from The Sims Resource. I know it's not the best place to download CC from, but if you know any other sites you could download CC, like this one has the monster logo, you can see. I think it's the monster logo. It looks like the monster logo, but it isn't, I think. 
uh, yeah, there's that Monster logo. Now, I have I have that. I have this. This one looks nice. It's kind of very different. I uh, have this. It looks really nice once they have CC skin. That's kind of vacation -y. I have this. Uh, I installed quite a bit, okay? And I know um, this video is going to take a little bit. I've installed this. This one looks nice. Diesel. I know, like, there's diesel stuff. Like, there's a lot of t-shirts here. I have uh, there's 10 of them. And then we have these t-shirts here. These ones look very nice. Um... Uh, those are all I'm just showing you all guys. I have some of the CC already like this one right here Pat. Um, This one looks nice. Some of these look nice actually. Uh, this one's brand new A lot of these are brand new, okay, um, because I needed more snail CC uh, Because uh, this one's brand new uh, that one isn't this one. I think it is This one looks very nice. You can make a classics about that a lot of this is brand new, okay, um and just thanks to you guys, I hope you do learn. This one looks very nice. I know like it looks like another t-shirt in the game already, but it looks really nice anyway. With this one, which I showed you already, I also also installed this one looks nice. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of male CC, don't be too bad. I think we also have some bottoms as well, uh, like these, um, you know, just basic stuff. Um, I think we've had some of this stuff already, but... Uh, this I think are new as well. Like a lot of these guys are new. Um, I think this is new. A lot of it. Like that's new. Uh, this is new. Uh, that's not new. I've had that for a little bit. I had that for a little bit. I think this is new as well. Does it drop? There we go. Uh, and this is. I think this may be new as well. I also installed some teen female uh clothing to show you as well. Um. And she's wearing one of them now you can see it's quite a lot i've installed guys uh, i know uh, this video is a little long but i just wanted to show you guys that i really mean it and you know in chaos it also goes very fast i don't have the mrest mode on so it's it, it goes really really fast which i'm surprised um that's what the good thing also about merge cc uh i have a lot of this i think is new they're not new because i've had them for a long time those aren't new uh, some of this is new, actually. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, I think, yeah, most of this stuff, and I think this is new, is new as well. And we have a couple of tops and all this. But yeah, pretty much that's all I've really installed otherwise. Um, yeah, I think I installed one or two things for uh, adults. That looks nice. You know, that will go well with that skirt. We have this, which comes with this top. Uh, I've had that already. I have most of this stuff. Uh, this is new, which I just showed you. Uh, like, cutty. Um, looks really nice. Um... That exists. I've had that for a while. But yeah, that's really it for. I don't know. The rest of it is our dresses, just to show you. Um. Um. Oh, I've had some of these dresses already. Like this one's brand new now. This one I didn't have before. I like this one as well. This one I've installed. There's two variants like that. And then I have a similar dress for adults, but this is a teen version of it. This um. There's quite a little bit I've installed. Um. I think most of the team where I can't remember, but she came from some Bulgarian creator, and this is one. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've actually got this CC shop. Uh, oh yes, I've also got some pajamas. Uh, just show you here. Uh, yeah, I've got this. Looks very nice. Um, kind of basic. Does the job. Um, and then you can also put that like hoodie on. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope uh, you liked the CC shop we just did. Uh, well, not the CC shop, showed you how I did install my CC. I hope it was very useful as well. I know this is a little bit of a long video, but I just wanted to show you guys it's all working and the speed of this game. So, uh, yeah, guys. But, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please do like this video, comment, and subscribe for more of these Sims 3 tip videos. And I will see you in my next YouTube video. Goodbye.